<laughs> wow, that sounds like shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's our little intro. <laughs> That's the best I could come up with. Yeah. On the spot. <laughs> on the spot. We yeah. got a bunch of vine right next to mine. I'm Peace. And I'm Fader. We're here with Uper Product Reviews. We're just a couple of regular guys that uh, buy shit. <laughs> <laughs> and try it. <laughs> we try it out. We're not really experts in anything, but um, we're just like you. We buy stuff. And uh, we just want to let you know if it's good or not before you buy it. To answer that big question, does it work? Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's all you want to know. So today, we've got... A couple of guitars. I know we do a lot of guitar videos. We have a lot of like guitars. <laughs> we buy a lot of guitars. Um, we use guitars. Mm -hmm. And it is one thing that I'm not necessarily an expert in, but I do play. Mm -hmm. I've been playing a lot longer. But um, today we wanted to give you a quick review of two um, similar but different acoustic electric yeah. cutaway guitars. Yeah. Um, so this is pretty. These are really similar guitars, but um, both are black. Yep. Black glass. This is the Fender CD60 cutaway. Um, so CD60 CE. This is about a uh, year old. You can still get this guitar on Musician's Friend. Uh, retails for about 300 bucks, I would say. Yeah. And you have this. The... This is the uh, Takamini EG561C. This says uh, C. Yeah, C. <laughs> C is, an, I think, for cutaway. <laughs> I'm no expert, but I think that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, I think so. But um, uh, yours got CE Cutaway Electric, I think is what that one stands for. But anyways, I got this one back in 2002. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Um, and uh, this one has a spruce top, um, rosewood fretboard, abalone rosette, and you got your... Um, EQ options right here. Um, this one retails for, I think, well, my dad said he got it. He got it for either like five or six. That was back in 2002. But I don't know. I could be wrong. It could be like mm -hmm. $400. I don't know. Because you know? right. it's, it's discontinued is the reason that we're, you know, kind of jumping around on that one. So, and the only ones that we could find uh, were on Musician's Friend for $0 because <laughs> none are in stock. So, <laughs> so you can get no guitar for free. Well, you might you might come across this if you're at a music shop or free market, eBay, yeah, um, any of the, any website. You know, if you come across Craigslist, yeah, uh, we still want to give it a review because they are similar. They're both cutaway acoustic electrics. Mm -hmm. um, the big difference I would say is that mine is, uh, I guess you'd call it like a full body, yeah, whereas yours is more of a slim line. Yeah, they call it the slim. Uh, what the heck is it called? The slim FXC body style, and it's apparently perfect for finger style and more like lead type work, which I totally get and understand because I've actually done a few lead like guitar solos on this, like in my own recordings that I've done. Um, and as far as like a um, uh, like a faster a guitar you can play faster on, definitely <laughs> this one, you know. Um, it has more yeah. of a punchy sound. Yeah, they definitely have a different sound, which we'll show you in just a second. Yeah, and that that is actually the the one the biggest thing because of their cavity size. Um, the this one, I mean, it's so much thinner than this one. I mean, this one it kind of like shoots out over here. Yeah, um, it's, it's got a huge a thick one. cavity. Yeah, big broad sound. Uh, the thing is, is that when you are not plugged in, it sounds like it sounds little. 
It sounds like a little guitar. It, it sounds, <laughs> you know, it's like uh, my, we were just talking about how um, one of my lead singers in my old band, the first time he ever played this guitar, he just went, I, I don't like the sound of this guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so he was very honest. And that's okay. That's a critic. You know, nobody's going to like everything 100%. But uh, plugged in, though, is a different story because you have a lot of EQ options, which right. we'll get into in a minute. That's, here, yeah, so. that's actually, let's talk about that really quick. Yeah. This actually, and maybe we'll come in for a close up on this, but I've got a Fishman EQ with a tuner. So you can just push this button right here and you can use that to tune your strings. It works pretty nice, especially if you're actually are performing live mm -hmm. um it cuts the sound so you can just tune it without actually having to play through your amp that is so nice um but then you just push the button again you've got your volume knob here and then you've got your treble your mid and your bass here so you can you can tweak your sound um however you want it's a pretty pretty solid little uh little um uh what would you call that tuner yeah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> onboard tuner. <laughs> onboard tuner, yeah. It's uh, it's pretty solid. Only has a three band, where yours has a lot more options. It's a little more high. Um, yeah, definitely what uh, these two guitars, um, what uh, one lacks, the other one makes up for. You know, like what I lack in body size, this one makes up for. And what this one lacks, maybe in EQ options, this one definitely makes up for. Uh, what's really cool about this one is, you, so you have your three band EQ. But then you also have a notch filter, you have an in and out filter, you have an EQ bypass if you just want to say screw it and you like the sound of the soundboard and what the sound guy is doing back there. You can say, okay, well, I can totally bypass my whole EQ. And then you also have a mid-range contour. So what all of that does is like, I guess like a whole other video segment. I'm not really going to get into like how a notch filter works, how an in and out filter works. We might want to do just a whole video just on that. Yeah, because well, I'm, I'm sure we will. Um, but I will explain one thing, which is actually really, really nice, is the mid-range contour. Um, if anybody's ever had like a Marshall amp or something, you have a button that's called, that says scoop mids. Uh, scoop mid sound is like a really like sought after sound um, when it comes to like EQing things and making them just so they sound balanced all the way across. And if you've ever seen it on graphic EQs that you can use on your computer, there are a bunch of little uh, like little dots, right? And you can grab individual dots and move them, right? But there's another option where you can click, and when you move one, two of the other ones move with it. Mm. So it's more of like a waveform as opposed to point to point to point to point. Right. So that mid-range contour kind of smooths everything out, meaning like smoothing out the difference between the bass and the mid-range sound. So... That one I always had clicked when I was playing live because when you clicked it, there was a noticeable difference in the balance of your overall sound. So, mm -hmm. like I said before, there's there's tons that like the, the the EQ options that are available here make this an awesome live acoustic electric guitar. I have mm -hmm. played well over 200 shows with this guitar alone. So mm -hmm. that's a lot of shows. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So, nice guitar. but as far as, you know, the <clears throat> guitar that you have around the campfire, I would definitely want this one way more or like an acoustic, and that's also you know? going to be more comfortable to play so. for a show because it's not as thick. Yeah. So it's, it's more comfortable. You're not like, mm -hmm. you're not going to be reaching around it as much. It's going to just lay against your body a lot closer, almost more like an electric wood. Where it's right. Like yeah. Where it kind of like rests. It's like a prosthetic limb or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. And also sometimes I actually get sore right here from... The resting on uh, bigger body guitars like my other acu uh, my Fender acoustic that I have. It's a big guitar, big broad sound. And actually, after a couple hours of practicing on it, I get like sore. Like I've been leaning on our handrail yeah, for like a yeah. couple hours. I get that. I get that right here in my chest because I didn't find I kinda, right? kind of hold it. That's why they have those certain things on electrics. It just yeah. into it, right? Yeah, exactly. So what? Uh, so let's talk about some of the other features here. What do we got? Okay, um, so we got rosewood fretboard. Rosewood fretboard on mine. Is yep. yours also rosewood? This is rosewood as well. Yep. Okay. Uh, yours has uh, scalloped bracing that would be on the inside of the guitar. Okay. Um, now, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I can only assume that that's like a structural integrity thing, not necessarily like a sound thing. Mm -hmm. But I could be wrong because I know that what goes on on the inside of the guitar definitely affects, you know, how the sound bounces around, you know. Mm -hmm. Just like when you put a couch in a living room, all the way of a sudden it sounds quieter. You know? right. It's the same thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but uh, then a couple of the other things is that, oh, the preamps that we have on here, if this means anything to you, this is a TK40 preamp. <laughs> this is an FTE 3TN preamp on this one. Um, now, we were talking about uh, how this one is like uh, a better like plugged-in guitar. 
that doesn't necessarily mean we're saying that this one is not a good plugged-in guitar because this thing sounds awesome. I actually have taken this away from here a couple times to play some shows because <laughs> <laughs> I ever tell them, hey, can I, uh, can I use your guitar? You if I use it? Yeah. yeah, no problem. But I like playing lead on this too. It's, it's mm -hmm. pretty sweet. Yeah, this is a nice guitar. Yeah. Compared to like the like non-cutaway acoustics mm -hmm. that you can get, like uh, the, uh, what was mine? The Fender something. I don't know. But a big Fender acoustic. Um, mm -hmm. you know, it's, I'd, I'd be rather be playing this as far as like lie, like, like, um, lead, lead work. For a fairly inexpensive guitar, I mean, I'd say 300 is probably pretty inexpensive. That's for an acoustic solid. electric, that's about as cheap as you can get. This actually is pretty legit. I like this guitar a lot. Mm -hmm. And acoustic electrics can actually bump <clears throat> up the price by like a couple hundred dollars. So considering that this is just $300, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So... So yeah, so I guess should we, uh, let's give them a couple of comparisons here with the uh, sounds good with, out of tune with the sound. Yeah, I'm definitely out of tune, so we can. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead here and just kind of get her into tune. Okay, and uh, just vamp and talk about guitar. <laughs> <clears throat> that didn't really stretch these strings. That's the other cool thing is we have the same exact. These are the exact same strings. Yeah, they're both. These ones we just put on today, you just put those on like a week ago, so they're like... Now you're like they're, yesterday. Oh, okay. yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> they are brand so new. So there's no difference in strings here at all. Okay. So yeah, so give a, give a G. Give, so him, can, give him a G? Yeah, give him a G. So there's his, there's his G, there, here's my G. Sound pretty similar in that regard. Actually, no way, no, yours sounds like deeper. Yeah, I, ho I really hope that the microphone is able to pick like all this up because <laughs> you can definitely tell. And then what were you playing? You were playing GDA. Yeah. Or A minor. No, nope, just A. It sounds clean, but there you oh. go. <laughs> Sounds like shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I suck at guitar. <laughs> Keep playing it though, because you can hear it. It sounds it sounds deeper. <laughs> wow, that sounds like shit. <laughs> it's because I'm a shit guitar player. Uh, right. Here, switch switch guitars. Alright. Let me play this one. I've only been playing for about Year and a half. So. Oh yeah, man, you can like. Yeah, this is way more comfortable. Is right that the bat? Is it just yeah? I'll tell you what, the neck feels pretty much the same though. Yeah. Same, same shape. You know what? Same I, size. It doesn't mm -hmm. feel that much different. You know what I feel like, and it's I just it's more. It's definitely more comfortable to have. I feel like the neck is longer, even though it's not. But it's actually where the body meets the neck. It's like longer, like right there. I feel like I don't know. It's just, but maybe that's me. But it just like looks like it. I feel like because it's, it's a tinier guitar. I don't, I don't know, know. But. Yeah. The other thing too is volume. Yeah. This one is way, way louder. It's gonna like, project it a lot more. Oh, totally. It yeah. just throws the sound out there. This one, not so much. Like I said, it sounds a little. Mm -hmm. it sounds like it a little. It does feel like a very solid guitar. Though. It's got some good weight to it, though, so you know it's well built. Mm hmm. Yeah, it definitely yeah. responds to, you know. Mm hmm. So. And uh, the other cool thing that uh, it has a split. This is one thing I, I didn't write down and I wanted to is this has a split compensated bridge. That is something that it's like you you see on some guitars, but not, it's not like around that much because a lot of places will actually use the compensated bridge on here, which was in another video of ours that we did where we put a compensated bridge on an acoustic guitar, yep. the Rogue 08090. We'll, we'll put a link to that in the description. But yeah. You can check that one out. But yeah, so this one has a split one, and that's... That's pretty uh, weird looking, to be honest with you. Yeah, you like, don't see that very often. Yeah, it's two it's two bridges, mm -hmm. technically. Well, so you get one, the correct intonation, basically. Yeah. 
So split yeah. bridge compensation yeah. is what it was called or something like that. Cutaways are but sweet too because you can really get down here and cutaways are where it's at. Just go to town. When it comes to lead work, you want that. If you have this big chunk of meat right here, you're going to be like riding a struggle bus just trying to get you up can't, there. Yeah, you just but basically can't do it. Once it goes away, you got this cutaway. Your hand just fits like a glove right in there, and you can just. <laughs> 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 it's like a <laughs> something like that <laughs> yeah. there you go. so but so yeah for lead work uh cutaways are just so clutch if, if you're thinking about like you know doing like finger style and stuff like that you want the cutaway uh, you need that mm -hmm. you know because you're going to be doing like Tommy manual and stuff like that too so <laughs> but yeah anyway I mean, uh, I mean i i think this is a nice guitar i like it i, I, I have heard it mm -hmm. through an amp Mm -hmm. It sounds awesome. Yeah, that's one thing we don't have today is an amp, but, you know. Yeah, well, maybe we'll do another video with this plugged in. Yeah. But, um, yeah. through an amp, it sounds awesome. If you're just sitting around on the couch playing, you're probably not going to like it as much as you would on a, on a fuller size full-body guitar, obviously. It's got a lot more goes, It almost goes without saying. I mean, that's yeah. obvious. But, mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I think this is a, I, I really do like this guitar. It feels good. Mm -hmm. It's easy to play. Yeah. Um. I think that they both have their own applications. You yeah, know? definitely. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Then this yeah. one, this one, you get like more options for EQ when it's plugged in. This one, you might not, but that's okay because when you unplug it, you can still have big, broad volume. Mm -hmm. You know. So yeah, with this exactly. one, not so much when it's unplugged. But yeah, so I'd recommend them both. But if for whatever you're doing, that's what you're gonna want it for. So. Yeah. Like okay. Like well, with said, that, should we? Let's just uh, yeah. I guess we could play them out with something. Play them out. Let's do the same thing, and then you can you can do a little soloing on that, so you can maybe they can hear the difference. Oh uh, yeah, there you go. And then um, with that, I'm Peas. I'm Fainer. It's Fainer. We're Uper Product Reviews. If you like our videos, click click like, subscribe. We're gonna bring you all kinds of new shit in the future. Thanks for watching. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> Later. <laughs> we'll, uh, it'll be really funny to fast forward every time we have to like shut off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> There's not, we, yeah, that one almost we could just throw up just like that. <laughs> I know, right? We don't have to do much editing. Yeah.